So today I'm going to teach you a useful workaround so that you can use synths like Serum and Omnisphere and other high CPU VSTs inside Mainstage for live performance. So let's get straight into it. But before we do, just bear in mind that my CPU is going to be a lot higher than yours because I'm using screen capture and recording audio from inside Mainstage. So I've just got Mainstage and Serum loaded up. Let's say we've got a sound we quite like that we'd like to use live. But as you can see, the CPU is not being too kind to us. So we're going to use Auto Sampler to help us out. So before we do that, let's turn off delay and reverb. I think it's generally a good idea to have sounds without delay and reverb on before you sample them, such that you can then add these afterwards. As after we do the process we're about to do with Auto Sampler, we won't be able to remove the delay and reverb. So I generally like to try and keep the samples as clean as possible. So I'm going into Utility and I'm going to load up Auto Sampler. Now this is just a MIDI based plugin that's going to send MIDI trigger notes to the VST such that we can sample it. So first thing we need to do is just drag out the range in which we're going to sample over. So I'm just dragging the range appropriate for an 88 key keyboard. You might sometimes find for a sound you're sampling that it doesn't sound particularly good on certain parts of the keyboard. So it's generally a good idea to try and make sure you've sampled a range where it, the patch sounds quite good. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to sample the whole range. I'm going to sample every six semitones because this will be fine for this kind of synth sound. If you were using a piano, you'd probably want to turn it down to three semitones. I'm not going to take multiple samples for each key by doing a round robin. And I'm going to reduce the sustain length to about eight seconds. I'm then going to use, I think I'll just pick Penrose machine for this one. You can try the different algorithms out, but this one should be fine for this particular sound. This is just searching for where it's going to loop the samples such that they sustain out. Now all we need to do is press sample and tell the computer where we want to put our new sampler instrument. I'll just call this one demo. So let's hit sample. This normally takes a few minutes so I've just sped things up. So now I'm going to create a new channel strip and I'm going to create a new instance of the EXS24 sampler and load in the sampler instrument. So you can hear it sounds pretty good actually, it sounds pretty close to Serum. And if you look at the light blue EXS24 in the CPU load history, you can see it's been very kind to the CPU. This is because playing back samples is not very CPU intensive compared to a modelling synth like Serum. To really prove this point, I'll now just play a load of notes and see what happens. So let's try out the auto sampled version. So I know that sounded beautiful, but it was really just to prove a point that actually, if you use this technique, you can use some sounds that you might not have thought possible to use live. 